guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 13 of Ascendant of a Bookworm, so it's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> so tired. I want to go back to sleep. And it's only two thirty in the afternoon, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff to do before my day is over. God damn it! Yeah. Is there something wrong with that? Why? Yes. But what if she can't make enough money with that, though? But she could possibly make money. It's 
so that means you would never have free time to really see your parents or maybe even anyone. But the thing is, it's not your decision to make. Poor baby. Excuse me. Of course. But you know she hard-headed. She's going to try to do it anyway without her parents' permission. It's like that. Go on. Mm -hmm. You can sit there and turn the page for her. She'll be fine. You know what? I was kind of assuming, you know, while he read it out loud, she was going to read it silently to herself. She probably on the next damn page. <laughs> Well, I got something in my eye.
Yes. Why? Go on. Wait, hold up. What's touching the grill gonna do though? I do. <laughs> Okay. Mm, kinda. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and her parents got mad at her. They wanted her to touch a grill and then, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest thing that we want to know right now. No. And that's why they want to take you in.
<laughs> okay. Oh my god. Good question. <laughs> There's got to be some other reason besides that. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'll see. That's good. just to get the Don't be mad or upset with her. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's not going to make you so lame. gonna be okay.
Honestly, I have nothing to say about this episode. It spoke for itself, but... Okay, since next week is the final episode until season two in April, um, we're going to see the head priestess and the high priestess come to mind. Like, either... Well, no. Let me take that back. Her parents, plus Tuli. They're going to go see them. They're going to have a long conversation about this. I was assuming that they would also ask Mr. Benno, Mr. Otto-san, like everyone who she's kind of interacted with for these past like 13 going on, almost 14 episodes. And they would all have a conversation about her. And that's how they would just continue everything and make a decision based off of that. But we, I mean, from the... From the poster I saw, like, what, two weeks ago, you already know it. they're going to be fine with it. They may not be fine with it at first, and it seems like she's still going to be able to go outside of the church and still maybe see her parents. Plus, loot and everything. Having loot... Excuse me. Freaking cry. Oh, my God. Like, that hurt me. I wasn't ready for that. You made me almost cry myself. Like, Jesus. That poor baby, I just don't want him to be alone. And you could tell it all over his face and his body language. And you could see that it was, like, hurting him so much. And I wasn't ready for that. Like, you didn't have to do that! But to now know, my god, so cute, that the devouring is mana. Like, I, I would have never assumed that. Like, I was thinking it was something else entirely. And the fact is that this holy grail that is at the church absorbs it just like regular old mana and ish. Like, I mean, she has another purpose in life to go there. But I, at the same time, like, baby loops. Like, oh my god, he was upset because... As a fact is, they wouldn't be together anymore. And I mean, still, they just so freaking cute. I honestly thought the first time that we saw Lutz, I thought Lutz was just going to be one of those types of characters that was just going to be there for a couple of episodes. Not to, he was going to have a voice, but not as much as he's currently having right now, where he essentially gets to have the last word around mine. Um, about what she should do, whether it's right or wrong or anything, just to give advice. I, that's what I solemnly thought. I um, wasn't expecting the ish that I got with these past, like, 13 episodes. And who knows how this last episode is going to go. But we're not really going to know until next week, which it, it's still, like, a little upsetting that, you know, we got to wait one extra week. But I think, you know, with this last episode, everything that has come from episodes 1 to episode 13 will come to light. I just hope the conversation with mine's parents and the head priestess and the high priestess, it goes well. I know there's going to be a point where her father is probably going to have some differences and not want her really do it, want her to really do it. But at the end of the day, it's up to mine. It's not up to her parents or anybody else. It's up to her and whatever she chooses, they have to accept it no matter what. But we ain't gonna know until next week. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the final episode. Bye, guys.